everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm finishing up our AuthorTube series with, uh, I was going to call it episode four, I guess. <laughs> this is the fourth video in our series. Um, I'm actually going to give you all some AuthorTube video ideas. I do have a two-page list on my members only page, so be sure to check that out because I'm not reading all of these ideas off. But the past three episodes have been about tips for starting an AuthorTube. And we went in through like just all the setup stuff, common fears, reasons to start a channel, and when a great time to start a channel is. And then we went into AuthorTube balance versus trends where I kind of dug into the nitty gritty. If y'all saw that tea about like is AuthorTube dying, like we're getting into all that. And then the benefits of AuthorTube. So now we're talking about topics. So if you thought about what you want your channel to be about, what like niche or if you don't want a niche, like whatever you're doing, um, if it's more your journey versus helping people versus writing sprints or whatever, um, these are going to be some ideas, some video ideas for you and again go check out my website for the full list. To get started, I highly recommend the AuthorTube newbie tag. It is a very popular one. Uh, to get started with and especially to meet new writers with. So this is a great way to build your community base if you get that tag going on your channel and find others who have recently done that tag and just interact. You can also like tag other people that you do know in the writing community to go check out your tag to help give it a little boost and um, start your views and all of that off on the right foot. If you're doing this in November, um, writing sprints are a great time. I'm just going to say Preptober videos and NaNoWriMo videos are really big. So I would capitalize on that when you can, when it's that time of year. But also editing series. A lot of people do um, goals tags. So like uh, end of year wrap up and then New Year's goals. You can do writing vlogs day in the life vlogs, um, writing sprints, which is more live, but you can do writing tips or how to videos. You can talk about craft books or craft things that you've learned, um, your own experience or what you've found helpful from other people, your favorite writing resources or writing tools, podcasts. Um, you could do like a walkthrough if you love Scrivener or Notion or something, some type of tool that's gonna help other people. Stuff that stays evergreen. Um, versus if you were just um, talking about like this one moment in time or your one project right now, um, which I love coming back to, like especially once that author has made it, you know, and they have a published book. I love going back to see their journey, but these other tools that are going to be like helpful tutorials are very evergreen. If you do have a niche, like I kind of want to do a romance niche, like a sub <laughs> niche. Um, I've been talking a lot about character development in um, your MC plus their love interest plus like romance in the beat, beat sheet. Like I'm, I chose topics that kind of fit in there. So whatever your topic is that you want to do or whatever your brand is for the books you're writing, kind of skew that towards your channel too because that is who you are, who your books are, and then what your videos cater to. And then if you are self-publishing, traditional publishing, those are great things to include on your channel about your querying journey, agent journey, self-pub journey, anything that's going to help people because there are a lot of writers out there who want to see how you did it, compare it to themselves, <laughs> or uh, learn how to do that better. And just being real, I love videos where it's just kind of sit down, chit chat uh, about struggles, about triumphs, about other things going on. Um, and yeah, I think that's kind of vlog style, but if you just share your struggles too, you will be more relatable. If you decide to go the social media route or marketing route or um, a planning slash organizing slash writing schedule route like there's there's topics within those topics as well that you can keep getting smaller and smaller like you can take a broad idea and then break it down you can take an idea and break it into a series like I did this author tube channel series and then just talk about any like contests you're doing conferences you're going to if you met like your favorite author in person like just behind the scenes things, behind the scenes of your life, of filming, of writing, of reading books and authors and all of that jazz. All of it is fair game on the AuthorTube channel. Um, look around at what other creators are doing, see what you like, see what excites you, what interests you, and then um, see what is 
what's being received. When you're first starting out, you're not going to get a lot <laughs> of like analytics to help you on what is or isn't doing well. But if, as long as you love it, that's going to show and you're going to have fun and not get stressed out or dragged down by your views or your likes or your comments. And so um, I have cycled in and out of various topics and I've taken breaks and come back. I've had to struggle through the slog, if that's the right word. Um, I've done it all. I did three videos a week. I did one video a month. I've, like I've done it all. And you'll figure that out. You have time to figure that out in the beginning. Do not stress about it. If you make a video you hate, you don't have to post it or you can take it down. Um, and just like keep finding what you want to talk about on your AuthorTube channel. A lot of people now too, they're not even strictly AuthorTube anymore and they are talking about their life, about um, other side projects, other side businesses. Um, I talk about BookTube on here because I do book reviews and so mine's kind of a mashup. But just find what you like talking about, what makes you happy making videos and don't stress too much if it's taking up too much of your time if you don't have time that week to do one like people understand and yeah again these are only some ideas be sure to go check out my members only page good luck with your ideas and if you are starting a channel and you're starting it because of this and you do a newbie tag let me know and i will go check it out and comment and give your video a boost thank you so much for watching i hope this was helpful best of luck starting your channel and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.